Hello everyone, welcome back to Byte Vigor. Today, we are going to explore the template method design pattern, a very common behavioral design pattern in software development. The core idea of this pattern is to define the skeleton of an algorithm, allowing subclasses to redefine certain steps without altering the algorithm's overall structure. Imagine you are a chef who needs to prepare a meal. The process of cooking usually follows a fixed pattern, including steps like preparing ingredients, cooking, and serving. However, the specifics might vary depending on the dish you're making. For example, the preparation steps for soup and stir-fry differ, but the overall process is similar. The template method design pattern is like this cooking process, where you define a general procedure and allow customization of specific steps. In simple terms, the template method design pattern lets you define the general structure of an algorithm while deferring the implementation of certain steps to subclasses. According to Wikipedia, the template method is a behavioral design pattern that defines the skeleton of an algorithm in a base class, allowing subclasses to redefine specific steps without changing the algorithm's structure. Now, what is the difference between the template method and the strategy pattern we learned earlier? Both patterns deal with defining algorithms, but their focus is different. The template method emphasizes defining the structure of an algorithm within a common framework, allowing subclasses to override parts of the process as needed. It focuses on a fixed process rather than choosing between different algorithms. On the other hand, the strategy pattern emphasizes the interchangeability of algorithms. It allows you to choose between different algorithm implementations at runtime without affecting the structure of the algorithm. In other words, the strategy pattern encapsulates each implementation in separate classes, making them interchangeable through interfaces, while the template method achieves partial customization through inheritance. To better understand this pattern, let's take a simple example of brewing coffee and tea implemented in Java using the template method design pattern. First, we define an abstract class caffeine beverage that contains the template method prepare recipe. In this method, we outline the general steps for brewing a beverage, including boiling water, brewing, pouring into a cup, and adding condiments. The specific steps for brewing and adding condiments are left for the subclasses to implement. Next, we create two concrete subclasses, tea and coffee, which implement the abstract methods in the caffeine beverage class. The tea class implements the steps for brewing tea and adding lemon while the coffee class implements the steps for brewing coffee and adding sugar and milk. Finally, in the client code, we create instances of tea and coffee and call the prepare recipe method to brew the beverages. In this example, the caffeine beverage class defines the general process of brewing a beverage and the specific steps are delegated to the subclasses. The tea and coffee classes each implement their own brewing and condiment adding methods without affecting the overall process. As you can see, the template method design pattern ensures consistency in the algorithm structure while allowing flexibility in specific implementations. So, when should you consider using the template method design pattern? This pattern is useful when you have a general process that needs to be shared among multiple classes, but certain steps need to be customized based on specific requirements. It's especially suitable for scenarios where you need to define an algorithm framework but allow different implementations, such as data processing workflows or document generation processes. In summary, the template method design pattern allows you to define the skeleton of an algorithm, enabling subclasses to redefine certain steps without changing the overall structure. It enhances code reuse and flexibility, making it easier to apply the same algorithm framework across different scenarios. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please like and subscribe to Bite Vigor and make sure not to miss our future content. See you in the next video.